Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Let's Roll Outdoors. Or right, I'm just getting back from the grocery store. All right, went out and got some groceries today. Let me show you what kind of groceries we got. Check this out. Fresh fish, all right? We got a good little red drum here. Gonna cook this bad boy up. We went out in uh, the creeks and the backwaters of Eastern North Carolina to start off 2021, right? We went out looking for some speckled trout, but they wouldn't cooperate, but guess what? Some of these guys did. All right, so that's what we're gonna share with you today. We got some, uh, just a little bit of red drum action, fishing some backwaters of Eastern North Carolina. All right, starting off the new year, right? Um, so that's what we got, little home videos to share with you right now on Let's Roll Outdoors. All right, let's roll, let's go catch some fish. All right, we're still, uh, we just made it out here on this back river of North Carolina, brackish water, wintertime fishing, trying to catch us a trout. We got live baits out, casting trout lures, uh, mirror lures, Berkeley gulps, Z-mans, a bunch of other stuff. Trying to catch a trout, but they're not cooperating. We got some other live baits out the back. We got a deep hole, about 15 feet of water right here. Waiting for a bite. I good job fishing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, whichever, whichever way you decide to go. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, we got some action back there. What, you got a drum? You got my line somehow. Alright, red drum in the boat. Little puppy drum. Let's see him. All right. Oh, that one looks a little bit bigger, huh? Yeah. He's fatter, definitely. Look how fat this one is. Yeah, he pulled a rod across like this. Nice. Two red drum here on live mullets. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Look how bronze they are in these rivers, huh? Yeah, they're pretty. Ain't here, here, all right. Here, let me hold them up for a good little... While the sun's out, let me take a good picture. Hurry up while the sun, before the sun goes away. Before the sun goes away. One, two, three, yeah. Red drum in the creeks. 17 and three quarters. All right, cool. <laughs> Look at how fat this one is. Yeah, he needs a five inch. Look yeah. how fat that one is. All, All right, right. Good deal. Down. All right. He's not big enough. He might be. Okay. All right, y'all, so we're getting some good red drum action there back here in these, uh, these backwater creeks. So it's January here in North Carolina. It's really cold. It's not, actually, it's not too bad, but it's cold, all right? It's cold water. All right, here's what's going on. We got this long leader. I think we got about 20-pound test as a leader using about a one-aught circle hook and live mullets, all right? So my buddy of mine, he's got this secret spot where he can catch some live mullets in the in the middle of winter. So we're, we're actually uh, pretty fortunate there. But just a light uh, egg weight up here, half ounce to one ounce, one foot to two foot um, uh, leader here, and then a circle hook. And we're just putting on live mullets and we're fishing these deep holes, all right? So there's these holes in these creeks that go from 10 to 15 feet. And we just kind of cruise the creek, found a deep hole, check it out, nothing. Cruise a deep hole, check it out, got bites. All right, so we've been uh, we've been sitting here in this hole uh, about 30 or 40 minutes and we've, we've landed, uh, how many we got now? We've landed three, two short, one keeper. We've got a couple bites. And uh, while, I, while I'm here, while I'm talking to you, while I'm talking to you, I'll show you the other stuff we're doing, all right? We started off trout fishing. So we're throwing all kinds of soft plastics. We're throwing mirror lures, uh, gulp baits, Z-man lures, and we ain't catching nothing. <laughs> all right. So we didn't get it on film earlier, but we caught a couple of largemouth bass up in this creek. All right. So you just never know. It's brackish water. We caught a couple of bass on some shrimp lures, some good chunky little river bass. And uh, we're still looking for the trout, but we got the red drum action going on. All right. So I'm going to stop talking and uh, let's, hey, check it out. Here we go. Let me show you all we're doing. We got the live mullet on here. The deep hole is out in front of me. We're just lobbing out these live mullets right in the hole. And then we let the drag stay really loose so those drum can take it. All right. There's not as uh, they're not as active here in this cold water in the wintertime. So we just let them kind of suck it up a little bit. Circle hook. Get them corner of the mouth. Ready to rock and roll. We're using light tackle stuff. All right. Stuff that you would go uh, bass fishing with, trout fishing with. All right. 10 pound test outfits. Uh, some of these have braided lines. Some of them have mono. 
and we're just waiting for bites. All right, so that's what we're doing today. Hey, y'all, we're gonna break from that video for a second. I got you in my house, I'm filming on the computer right now, and I said we didn't get any video of that bass footage, but I forgot my son had the little chest camera on, so we did get a little video of the bass, and it was so funny because my son was using this thing right here. Have you ever used one of these? The Doc Demon, all right? You could buy these things in Walmart, these little extra tough little uh, micro fishing poles, I guess, all right? So I brought it in here and showed you what he was using, the Doc Demon, and it was just so funny. He was fishing for trout, had a trout shrimp on, a little lure on there, and he hooked a bass. We caught two bass that day, largemouth bass, good little chunky river bass, and this is what he was using, the Doc Demon. So we did get a little footage of that, and I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to break right back into that video. There we go. He looked like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> on the micro dock demon. That's a nice one too. Yeah. We can put that one in the pond, maybe. Yeah, I got it all on camera. That's why I didn't hook it yet. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes. I don't know. Which one? This one? Alright, we're hooked up here again. Out here doing some wintertime creek fishing we are trying for trout but those guys they don't cooperate but now the uh little puppy drum showed up at least give us a little action okay so far we've got a couple of largemouth bass in the boat on uh trout rigs on trout lures and the live bait Seems to be bringing in the uh, red drum. There you go. Oh, oh, that might be a keeper right there. There you go. Nice and easy, boys. All right. There you go. Ah, that one's that one's a keeper. We might have a little little dinner. All right, might have a little dinner right there. There we go. 17 and 3 quarters. <laughs> Let me show you where we're catching here. Red drum. Look how brown they are in this, this uh, backwater, huh? Pretty cool. Super fat. All right, now these red drum got to be 18 inches. You can keep one between 18 and 27 inches. All right, so we got the measuring tape out. Twenty-two. Twenty-two from the nose to the tail. There you go. You want to keep them? Sure. It's up to you guys if you want to yeah, cook them up. Them. Go ahead and pick them up. Let's see them. All right, turn them around this way so I can see them in the sun. All right, folks, here we are. Red drum. In the middle of winter, it's January, and we are in these backwaters. Oh, hold them, hold them. I got them. Trying to tell the folks what we're catching here. All right, so look at how bronze that thing is in these backwaters. Cool. That's a good looking fish right there. Over 20 inches? 22. All right. All right. Good deal. Oh, nope, that's a lid. Okay, y'all, that's a quick little video of catching some drum and some bass here in January 2021. Getting the season started off right. And we're going to go ahead and eat these groceries, all right? Got a uh, open flame red drum cooking here. Open drum. Red drum surprise about to go down. All right, thanks for watching our videos. We'll keep making them. Hopefully you keep clicking them. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, let's roll. Let's go eat.